Okay, let's take this uh, L registration. So I think this one's a 1973. I think it's a very early non-tax free one. Um, Land Rover lightweight petrol for a spin. All light ignition light come on properly. Tiny bit of choke I think, because it's uh, pretty much stone cold. Starts very smartly. Starts really well whether it's hot or cold this one. Um, I did about 20 miles in this uh, the other night when it came in and it performed really really nicely actually. I was very impressed with it. Off we go. Showing 91,000 miles. No idea if that's genuine or not clearly. Well, I'm actually quite taken with the way this one drives. It's um, so it starts really nicely. There's no misfiring hesitancy, or most importantly, no uh, overheating. Unusually, all the gauges are working as well. The um, fuel gauge, temperature gauge, and and oil temperature gauge as well. Unusually, for a lightweight, it doesn't have the twin tank provision. There's no tap under the. Um, driver's seat for switching tanks over so there's only um, only one tank on it which uh, slightly odd but never mind yeah all the instruments working including the speedo clutch is nice gearbox is really quite nice on this one actually it's very um pretty positive it's not sort of too uh, too slack, really quite notchy. It has overdrive as well, although I'll put it in overdrive in a minute. That is actually quite whiny, as they often are. So it's in overdrive there, and you can possibly hear the overdrive whining a bit. But it does at least work. I'm clicking it out properly, I'll take it out of overdrive. Quite a lot of road noise from the um, the mud terrain type tyres it's got on it, but they always uh, they always do that. But it steers nicely as well. It's not um, it's nice and precise. It's not wandering about all over the road. It's going where it's placed, and considering it's on leaf springs, it actually doesn't um, ride too badly. Second gear synchro is fine. It's not jumping out a second on the overrun. Probably dispense with the choke now, I think. No, that engine sounds really quite nice now, actually. It's got freewheel front hubs on it as well. Quite civilised for a lightweight. It's also got a nice, uh, nice new tilt on it. Um, rear bench seats. Pretty much everything you could want, really. The only thing I can find that doesn't work, it has got the, um, the proper Smith's rectangular heater in it, but the, um, the heater blower motor doesn't seem to want to work. Whether it's not connected or it's just a blown fuse, I don't really know. It's not to run over any dogs either, we can help it. This is really pleasant. Really quite enjoyable lightweight this one. Brakes means to be well for drum brakes. And at full throttle here, it uh, picks up and goes very well indeed. By Land Rover standards, anyway. Not 
be much more I can say about it really, it just drives exactly as um, you'd hope one would. That's about it really, my name's Simon, you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk. And